It is the World Speaker Championship. This is Penso. Get ready. We gave you the round of 64. Now we give you the round of 32. Thank you for tuning in as you do, as you did and have done in the past. This is the show, the place to be on Sunday night. Are you ready? Are you ready to get it in with soul people? I'm not even saying doctors and disorders, because you know that. My name is D. Wells, along with all the people here, talking about the World League Championship 2016. You get down to the, you know, to the 32. It's been good it's been competitive a lot of smack talking happened last week and don't and rest assured it will happen once again i just hope you're not going to have to do any arm wrestling and all that good stuff but let's get right to it mr mr paper chaser in the building what's up sir how you been what do you feel greetings to those around the world welcome to the world sneaker championships this is you know, it's getting close to time where we decide who's who. Mm-hmm. I'm excited again, you know, after being able to kick off this opportunity, you know, pencil, footlocker, soul collector, judges, all the designers around the world, it, the, the, the tension is getting really thick. It, it can be cut and spread on some butter. So I'm really looking forward to seeing what happens this week. And as we cut down from yes. 64, it's going to be really interesting to see how the public has voted and which countries got behind their designers. So I'm really looking forward to starting the show. And um, I hope people are ready, especially you judges. <laughs> For real. Well, we got to make sure we get the grand architect himself in the building, the one and only, the founder of Penso Footwear Design Academy, Mr. Dwayne Edwards. Hey, hey, how you guys doing? Man. Good, sir. You guys ready this week? I'm always ready. <laughs> we, we know we're ready. I know the, I know the, uh, the selectors this week, they've got their, their work cut out for them because oh, most definitely. I was sweating. You know, we were smack talking last Sunday. Right. And here we are another Sunday going from 64 to 32. So, D, what, what was that? What did you see on your end? What what did you experience? Man, you know, you know, the, the first thing was for us to get all the votes in and get all the data. Um, you know, we, we were blown away with we had over 160,000 people. Um, well, not 160,000 people. 160,000 votes that were cast last wow. week. Wow. And you know, for us to see that kind of response from all over the world, it, it just it's a testament to. A the contestants that were a part that are a part of the program of them, you know, pushing it through social media platforms, encouraging people to vote for them, as well as you know having great partners like Foot Locker and Soul Collector, and, and then also for you guys from OSD, really pushing kind of what we what we're trying to do with the World Sneaker Championship. That's where all those votes came from, um, and it was it was amazing to see that part. Um, beyond that, dude, it was it was really interesting to see how the public voted. It was really interesting mm -hmm. to see how, you know, what which you could tell who had more friends and who didn't have as many friends. <laughs> you, could tell that. Uh, you could totally tell that. Um, but you know what? What we want to do was was really bring in experts, um, you know, that we have on, on the on the selection panel tonight that are knowledgeable about the sneaker culture and the sneaker industry to give some real constructive feedback on what the designs are and you know how the matchups actually are are set up. So I'm, I'm, I'm anxious to, to see how things go and, and how we get the selection started. So um, let's start with, you know, just mentioning who the selectors are this week. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Fresh blood. Yeah. So the first one, you know, Sean, Sean Williams is back. Um, actually, last week, we didn't, get a chance to, we didn't get a chance to hear you, Sean, actually. So, uh but one of the things that, because um, we had a little, little some gremlins in the beginning, um, but one one of the things that you know I, I spoke about last week was just how back in 2011, how you know we we had that conversation about what it'd be like to have this global tournament happen. Yeah. And here we are five years later. Actually, we're here now. It's it's, it's real. Yeah. It's totally, it's real now. totally real. Totally real. And to see the support 
And just to see the level of enthusiasm from the people who entered and the various countries from where they entered is an incredible testament to, number one, the hard work you've been doing since you launched Pencil, and then, number two, like you said, the conversation we had. And we have so many conversations where we talk about the global reach and impact of sneakers and footwear design and of people who, from various reaches of the world, have a story to tell through footwear. This is really incredible to see how they really decided to put it down. So I'm really excited about each week we advance to see who becomes the one who hoists that belt, you know, because it's just, again, like you said, it started from a conversation where it was like, imagine if, and yeah. then here we are, embracing technology and being able to reach all these people around the world who have been so enthusiastic about entering and the partners who have believed in it you know, and made sure that we powered this thing up for you to make it go. So, Nick, I don't think you're ready for me and my level of enthusiasm. <laughs> <laughs> We're ready for it. We, we have, uh, so speaking of that, uh, so we, we have we have Stefan back, the 2014 Royal Sneaker Team. Um, you know, this time he won't be against Sean, but uh, Hopefully. let's be back. <laughs> Uh, do you want to introduce the next next uh, two selectors? Absolutely, absolutely. He's known he's known by his crazy collection. Uh, he lives and breathes the culture. Some people know him simply as Phase Two, but uh, there's like a stratosphere that he exudes, and and you know, this is all about loving the culture. So the one and only Mr. Phase Two himself, Mr. Jermaine, is in the building. <laughs> What's up, sir? How you been? I've been all right, man. How's everyone doing today? We're good, hey, good, man. We're good. Thanks for for being on the show tonight. Being a selector, you get to uh, to dig in. You know, not in that uh, magic sack as we call it, but you know that that you know pulling some names out and changing some lives. So right. What, what have you What have you thought so far, Faze, about the the World Sneaker Championship um, that you've seen and or hear heard about or see people kind of tweeting about? Well, the competition's crazy. I mean, everyone's talented, thousands of submissions, and it's it's really tough. Ultimately, everyone's a winner, and um, I hope for the best. I mean, Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, thanks for being here. Sit tight, sit tight. And then we got to go to the big dog, the one himself. He's been, you know, cutting his teeth for many, many moons, many, many stars. He's worn uh, many pairs of sneakers. I can't even imagine. <laughs> if, if I were to ask you how many pairs of sneakers you've probably worn thus far in your lifetime, but the one and the creative director himself, Mr. Nick DePaula, is in the building. <laughs> What's up, sir? How you been? I'm doing pretty well. I'm out here in Portland, as always, and um, I'm always excited to talk about shoes and, and check out some great designs that we've got in front of us, so it's an exciting time. Absolutely. Well, thanks for being here. Thanks for being a selector. We yeah. again, selector. We're going to have some... Um, you yeah, ready, yeah. boy, boy? Yeah, I'm telling you, this is going to be interesting. This is, as they say, let's get the show on the road. World Sneaker Championship. So, Mr. Dwayne Edwards, do we go? We're going from 64 to 32. Yep. So, again, lives are going to be changed. Yep. The stakes are going to be, the bar is going to be raised even higher. And we employ everyone after the show correct, to go to worldsneakerchampionship.com and see the selection of 32 and right. then get to voting, get to stepping, don't half step, <laughs> get to voting. Yep. You know, you have no excuse, people. You could vote You could vote on your mobile device, your iPad, your Kindle. Shoot, you may, we may even have to take up smoke signals from time to time. Do you take those, those entries too? Don't worry, he will. Right. Get it all, you know, get it all, you know. Every vote counts, literally, every vote counts. Um, the courier pigeon votes, too. For real. <laughs> get the pigeon call. Oh, all right. <laughs> oh, man, okay. So let's, so, get, let's get it started, Dave. Who's, who's, who's first up to bat, as they say? Bada, bada, bada. Who's, who's I think first Nick, up to Nick bat? is up first. Red 
that's me. And um, there's a design that I'm a, a huge fan of that I thought was really well done. And, and my first entry into uh, advancing is Martin Ding from China. Nice. Uh, wow. All right, Mr. Martin Ding from China. Man, Martin was one of my selection picks uh, last week. What do you think about this this sneaker? What, what was it that uh, that made you make that pick, Nick? Uh, I, I really liked in the video how Martin kind of described the versatility he was going for. So you kind of see a real cleanliness through the toe, but then there's also some cool uh, you know comfort and function in the heel. So he's got a a cool inner sleeve design, and then um, that TPU along the eye stay is actually translucent, as he described it. So I thought there was just a real interesting mix of materials and, and a good balance, but it's also real clean, and it's not uh, not too busy. So I thought he just kind of uh, knocked it out really well there and, and had a good balance to the whole design. Okay. Very nice. Nice, nice, nice. This is a strong work. pick. I do, like his, I do like his material play as well. Definitely. Yeah, definitely. Nice work. Yeah, yeah, nice work. <laughs> <laughs> well, right, so speaking of which, that means you up then, Sean. That means exactly. You're up, man. Hey, I'm going to Mexico, baby. Oh, oh for real this time, right? Okay. For real this time. For real this time. I, I, mess, I had a false start in the geographical wardrobe malfunction last week. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm ready this week. And I'm going with my man... Juan Jose Colleen. Nice. Okay. Wow. Okay. Okay. You're not ready for me, Nick. <laughs> so, so again, recapping Juan's philosophy behind his design, he wanted a cross between a running and a basketball shoe and combining the best of both worlds with some high-quality material and a little bit of performance tech in there. So, this hybrid premium, as he describes it, is ready to go. It's ready to be WSC certified. Nice. Can you handle that, Nick? Nice. Yeah, yeah. I think I think Martin's design uh, has a let's great cross. cross what was that? No, I was saying let's see the head-to-head -head matchup. What they look like together. Yeah, yeah. <coughs> mm. Okay. Sorry, Nick, you, Nick, I didn't mean to cut you off. Go ahead. Yep. No, go ahead, dude. You're fine. No, no, no. I, 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 mean, I didn't mean to cut you off. I was just wanting to see the head-to-head. -head. No, I, th I mean, I think they're both great designs. I just uh, I really like the, the cleanliness that Martin's design has, and I think um, he has a real good touch to, to how polished his, his design and the sketch work actually looks, too. So I thought he just did a really nice job with the, uh, with the time that he spent on it and the attention to, to detail. It came off really nice. Good. Very cool. All right. First matchup in the field of 32 is set. Yes, sir. All right, Stefan, you up? All right. So I think um, last week Sean got a little bit scared. So <laughs> uh, you like my, my dramatic pause and sip of tea? Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Um, he might be the Michigan State of everyone's bracket. Um, Ooh. Okay. We'll Ooh. Um, all right, Ooh. anyways. First pick, um, I'm going to go to Canada, um, and let's get Arthur Rona here again. Okay. All right. I rock with that. So last week I was I was really digging this shoe. Um, I had a chance to watch his video that he shared um, on YouTube, um, and what I really appreciate is how he really had attention to detail of all the little aspects. Um, in the video, he even called out like. You know, he ghosted everything out, like called out the laces, like this does this because of this. Um, he had a little bit of like cheesy romance music going on in the background, but I was still digging it. You know, it, really, it really kind of tied everything together. The shoe's not cheesy, the music was, but it was cool. Hi, everybody. My name is Arthur Rona from Toronto, Canada, and this is my submission for the 2016 Pencil World Sneaker Championship. My design is inspired by the city of Vancouver and blends that feeling of the urban and natural landscapes that the city is known for. This lifestyle sneaker boot features an industrial wool felt on the upper half of the shoe, which is chosen for its resilient, insulating, water repellent, and sustainable qualities. Also on the upper is a lacing system with loops that wrap all the way around the perimeter. 
Combined with multiple slits at the ankle, this system allows you to lace the shoe in as many different ways as you can imagine. And by sporting bright orange laces, reminiscent of your everyday number two pencil, your creativity will most definitely get noticed. Finally, the outsole grounds you in nature with a pattern inspired by hiking trails and water currents. Thank you for checking out my design, and if you like it, please head over to worldsneakerchampionship.com to cast your vote. So that was, that was, that was entertaining. Totally. All right. Faze, you up, man. Who are you, who you battling against Stefan? So what are you bringing to the table? Man, this one was tough. I'm going to go with Brazil. I'm going to Brazil this time, and I'm bringing out my man, excuse me, but it's Getulio Luiz, if I'm not mistaken. Okay. Mm. Um, I like the silhouette because it's really simple and elegant. Definitely a Nick DePaula shoe, if you know. <laughs> oh, <boy. laughs> Definitely a Nick DePaula shoe. I love the pull tabs to you know for ease of drop in comfort. Um, detail oriented. If you look at the aglet, there's a gold accent. Brings that um, that quality, that premium quality lifestyle shoe feel. And he went really simple with three eyelets, and it looks like there's a you know a nice functional TPU piece on the eye stay. I just like how everything flowed very well together. Nice. So okay. All right, let's see the head-to-head -head matchup. All right. Mm-hmm. Very nice. Canada and Brazil. That's actually Mexico, Sean. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, <laughs> well played there, sir. Uh, yes. <laughs> the right. keeps this okay. week, huh? All right. So, Jermaine, you, I mean, you, you're up next, sir. You can start right. with the next one. All right. Well, going back to Canada, um, mm. James Bleakley is who I chose. Blake. Oh, nice. okay. I really enjoyed this silhouette. Very streamlined has a really aggressive outsole, and in the video that he shared, he was talking about his inspiration with yin and yang, and kind of the balance of two elements, and he described one of the elements being the opportunity that Pencil gave him, and also being very well prepared. And he says, opportunity and preparation equals success, and that really, sp that really spoke to me, and I, I enjoyed his design, so well done. Nice. All right. Very good. All right, you up, Stefan. All right, so that's a bit of a tough matchup, but um, let's go back to USA and let's go with Josh Mann. Mm. So again, uh, this shoe was cool. I loved being able to watch, you know, all the students' videos. Um, it was cool. He was talking about the golden ratio again, but he really got into detail talking about the Fibonacci sequence. Um, the outsole uh, view was really beautiful. Um, you know, it had just had that really organic growth to it. Um, and I think this shoe could go really far. Um, it's really approachable, um, different, um, but also familiar at the same time, which I really appreciate it. Very cool. All right. Head right. to head matchup. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's two high tops. That's going to be an interesting one. That's good. Yeah, I like it. Either you go for the strap or the or the clean the clean silhouette. That's good. That is good. Okay. All right, Sean. I'm up. You're up. All right, Nick. <laughs> Got. I'm going with my dude from Hong Kong. By way of Chicago, Kato Choi. Now, the thing that I liked about Kato's design is, of course, being a child of hip hop, and the phrase, it ain't where you're from, it's where you're at, means a lot to me because Kato's design kind of infused the both of those um, together. So there's influence from the Hong Kong heritage and his current home in Chicago. So mm. this shoe was the end result of both of those influences on who he is. So I'm good with that, Cato. What you got, Nick? Nice, nice. 
Um, well, no, that, that has a great story to it, and I really like the silhouette on that one for sure. Um, on my side, I have, from Poland, uh, Cuba Bilmel. Um, and he has... All right. So you're getting the hang of this now. A little bit, yeah. Um, and he has, I, what I liked about his design was it was kind of un unorthodox how he colored it up. Um, for the style of shoe that it is, maybe a lot of people would go with like more of an earth tone, but I like how aggressive he, he colored it. Um, and I also like the textures involved. Um, and it's got this real unique lacing system, so it actually laces partly through the heel counter and then partly through a, a ghillie that's a, attached to the, uh, the overlay on the toe. So it's totally unique, um, a lot different than your probably usual... Um, you know, lacing systems, but then it also has a real familiar collar um, and kind of on trend with the with the sock. And as Jermaine mentioned, I'm a huge fan of, of anything that's extremely comfortable. So from that standpoint, um, <laughs> I, 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 like the, I like the comfort and the slip-on nature of it. Um, and it's got a real cool, uh, funky setup. And then the laces, or I mean the colors rather, um, are real bold and kind of unique. So I, I like the, the direction you took it. That's nice. Yeah. That's nice. Let's see ahead on that one. Yeah. Mm. Looks like the new judge has got the hang of this. Yeah, I like that. Way to go, boy, boy. Not playing yeah. around. That's a tough matchup. Yeah, wow. that's going to be a close one, for sure, for sure. Um, and then this very next round, I actually think I'm next again. Um, and I don't know, I'll have to, everybody will have to check out this video because this was by far the highest production quality of an entry video I've ever seen. This kid had... A full like sliding setup crew, like multiple <laughs> camera angles. He had a whole like he was out of warehouse space. He had everything set up, and I have to go with Ian Black on this one. My name is Ian Black. Uh, I'm 19 years old, and I'm currently a freshman at the DAP program of industrial design here in Cincinnati, Ohio. Don't I first became interested in footwear design when I was 12 years old and my nanny actually at the time took me to visit one of the premier athletic brands in the world. Um, there I was able to immerse myself in the culture of the company, um, the people, the designers, the marketing team, the developers. And I was just able to, to realize how inspired the workplace was and I told myself at that moment that I would do anything and everything uh, to work there. So that really started my passion for footwear design and I went home that day and started sketching shoes over and over again, sandals, boots, uh, even flippers for divers. Uh, but my first shoe, to be honest, looked like a tissue box with laces. So now, seven years later, I find myself competing in the second annual World Secret Championship with designers from around the world. I present to you the Urban, the Everyday Explorer. The main aspect of the shoe is a one-piece rubber molded outsole that goes from the forefoot into the heel, which protects the toe and the heel from both water and dirt. The upper of the shoe was designed using a two-part system of a Rio Prina mesh, which provides comfort, breathability, and warmth for the user. The shoe with its seamless construction in both the upper and outsole is perfect for the everyday Seattle commuter. It's my first footwear sketch at the age of 12. It's always been an immense dream of mine to have one of my designs made, put in production, and sold in stores. With your votes and your support, this could actually happen. I appreciate every single one of your votes. Thank you. Uh, he's a uh, he's a design student from Cincinnati, and he kind of was saying how he wanted a little bit more molding, but still a clean look. And so you kind of see this the hybrid midsole outsole that kind of wraps up and over the toe, um, gives it some durability, but also kind of a real aggressive stance and, and a unique look. And um, he also was probably the most bold. A lot of people were kind of more subtle on how they were branding the the pencil P, um, and he was the most bold and kind of stamped it right along the side. And so I thought that was kind of a real. Uh, 
you know, departure, but also kind of a risk, and that was cool of, of his design too. So I thought it was really well done, and and definitely go check out his video if you can, because he probably spent tons of days on it and, and spent a ton of time. So it came off really well. Yeah, that means he just has some some friends in the production. All his friends are insanely talented, and he stood there and they filmed everything and did it all for him. But yeah, definitely. <laughs> I also heard he had like a makeup crew too. They were like doing his hair and like powdering. <laughs> But that, that's hearsay. I don't know. We'll see. Right, right. Well, well, I'm you, Michael Bay. You know, you know that might be true, actually. <laughs> <laughs> watch, watch the video. Determine that for yourself. Right. Comments below. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Sounds like he's going for an Academy Award as well as well. <laughs> Maybe. All right. So I'm keeping it homegrown, Nick. Okay. Let's see what a battle for USA would be like if I decided to go with Rasulo. Rasulo Donita. Mm. This was one of my favorites from last week, too, because I'm really big on, on mock style design, and this one really looked like a futuristic mock type design for me. And um, I'm, I'm good with the color scheme, simply because I'm a fan of gray, but I'm also a fan of how he laid out the lace scheme as well as the midsole outsole futuristic spaceship influence. It, looks it just like looks fast. Nice. Yeah, it looks like it's riding a wave. So mm. <laughs> I'm good with that. Nice. Mm. So, so head to head on that one. Yeah, let's see what the USA versus USA matchup is going to look like. I like that one a lot. That's pretty tough. Um, I just the speed of it is real great and it has a, just some real unique lines to it, but it's also still uh, fairly wearable. So it's I think that one came out great. Yeah, very cool. He versus Rasulo, let's do this. Yeah, first USA head-to-head -head matchup. That's good. Hold on, let me get my Don King Afro and my I Love America <laughs> denim jacket. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> Isn't it funny how that jacket is still the same color? Like, you would think yep. it would be, like, a green color by now. He probably well. has, like, 80 of them from all the boxes he ripped off. Oh, that's a good point. That's a good point. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> all right, Stefan, you up, man. All right. So um, I'm not going to keep it homegrown. Um, maybe a little foreshadowing, uh, depending, on, I guess, how the election goes. Absolutely. Um, Look, it's looking like Canada's... Getting more and more attractive every day. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, as is the shoe. Um, so let's do uh, Charlotte Poon, please. So uh, last week I was really digging the shoe. Uh, I mentioned it was actually one of my favorites of the whole pool, surprisingly. Um, you know, I don't really go for black right off the bat. Um, but her inspiration um, really comes through. It's that killer whale. And I think with this shoe, I mean, you'll be killing it in the streets. It's a great lifestyle pickup. So... Um, this shoe is awesome. I'm happy to see it go on. Nice. Did you watch her video, man? Uh, yeah, the, the video was the video was funny. I, I kind of appreciated how like it was like she was just like kicking it in her room, right? And she's like, here are all my pictures, and I'm right. doing this, and that was fun. I, I also appreciated like the fake sketching because I knew it was already done, but she's like, nah. uh, <laughs> that was funny. It adds to production value. So I mean, I appreciate it. that. Was cool. That's yeah. not nice, Stefan. That's yeah. not nice. <laughs> it was dope. <laughs> it was dope. All right, Jermaine, you up, man. I really like that design. I got something similar for you that I chose, uh, but I'm bringing it back to the U.S. Um, I went ahead and chose Jean-Marc Bastion. Oh, <laughs> really clean mm. silhouette, um, very angular, as you can see. Uh, the vamp is made of, it's made of like a knit type material, has a suede heel counter. I do like the angles, very sleek and edgy. Looks comfortable too. Yeah. I like it. Right. Yeah, that's going to be really head cool. head, made, in the, made in the high top. Yeah. Ooh, that's a tough choice. That's cool. Definitely. Dang. That one is serious. It's very a serious matchup. Nice. It's tighter. It's getting Get tighter. In the streets. Yep. All right, Jermaine, you, you're going to kick off the next round as well. So we're, we're up to down the 13th selection now, so you're up now. Make it, take it, right? That's right. Um, <laughs> keeping in the U.S. this time, too, um, I chose Maxwell Lund's design. 
Uh, I really like the unique lacing system. It's definitely different. I love the color blocking. Uh, during the video, he showed like, about a hundred different color blocking styles, and I really like uh, this one that he chose. Um, the I don't know if you can see, but the heel the the heel collar, the ankle collar looks kind of similar to I don't know a lot of different basketball shoes. So it's very performance oriented, but at the same time you could dress it down and make it lifestyle. Um, I like how the, the tongue is brought down to near the bite line, and it's, it's just very unique. I love it. Nice. nice. <laughs> so you're going to do with the 14 selection, Stefan? All right. Well, um, I mean, I'm happy going, going against Jermaine because Sean was killing me last week. But <laughs> that guy, I do have a really good shoe for you, Jermaine. Um, I really like the video. Um, it comes all the way to America by way of... Colombia, and that is Adriana Lara shoe. Nice. So, uh, again, this sh this shoe was really cool. I think I appreciated it a little bit more after I watched her video. Um, she was very, as a matter of fact, I don't know if that was the accent, but she was like, you know, Colombian people. I won't do the accent, but she's like, Colombian people are this, 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 and this is how that applies to the shoe. So it's like this marriage of like really interesting materials um, from like neoprene all the way to like snakeskin um, and then that translucent rand that kind of like shows everything but then also encapsulates it so this shoe mm. is really different and really really cool so yeah. Hi, I am Adriana Lara, footwear designer from Bogota, Colombia and this is my design for the 2016 World Sneaker Championship since the first moment, I want to create an eye-catching sneaker uh, with an energetic design that mixes luxury and urban lifestyle. I am taking inspiration from the diversity of my country. I know it's a very broad concept, but I can explain it in two points. The first one is uh, cultural knowledge. My country is a mixture between traditional heritage, know-how, and people with innovation abilities. Colombian people knows what I'm talking about. I propose an offer constructed from a set of lawyers that reflects the idea of mixture and diverse. I want this over lawyer fit. The lawyers surround the shoe and give it the support, the structural support. For the materials, I work with the idea of mix and play between technology and biodiversity. So in my design, you can find one first layer in a, in a technical material, first I think neoprene or something like area print, to give the feeling of comfort with the, all the technical qualities that this kind of material has and provide to the product. I choose a uh, suede letter, seamless and cut to the edge to talk about craftsmanship. I choose genuine titan leather that reflects biodiversity. I want to propose hot melt with a translucent polymer so it allows to see the mixture of all the layers. As a result, I have a design, a sneaker with a fresh and innovative luxury look. I hope you like it, and I hope you vote for me. I have to say thank you to Pencil and to Footlooker, and I just say good luck to the other 63 designers. Mm. That's a mean matchup right there. Mm. That is a tough one right there. That's a mean yeah. That's a tough one. You know, the, vid the videos really help better understand a lot of these designs. Um, and then, we don't like and then, to rain, uh, you know, as designers. Yeah, uh, exactly. <laughs> uh, and and um, she she has a very thick accent, but uh, so you couldn't even impersonate that if you tried to. Yeah. Uh, but, uh, but no, her, her reasoning for everything was actually really right on point. Yeah, and we, we want to make sure we influence all the viewers out there to please go and watch some of the video presentations for the designs, if not all of them, but they're all pretty short and won't waste a lot of time. And there's some really good passion that was put into a lot of the work that's being presented here in the World Sneaker Championship. So please check it out.
Yeah, definitely. Definitely. All right. We're up on the number 15th selection. We're almost halfway through with the field of 32. It's my go, and I don't think Nick is ready. <laughs> I'm going Maybe. back. Back, back. <laughs> Not to Cali. Not to Cali. Oh, okay. Not to Cali. Mexico? The USA. Oh, okay. And I got a phrase for Nick because I know he watches as many basketball games as I do. I have three taped right now to watch after this. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so so here we go. I'm going with this one from a from from a really good commercial for a particular company. Okay. I'll show you where I'm going with my design. Three words. Imported from Detroit. Cameron Sieglo, let's go, baby. That's a nice one. Yeah. This is a lovely play with, with, with leather and cotton. It's a really mean stance to this to this whole design of the shoe. But here's the part where I'm gonna go real, you know, poetry finger snapping on you, Nick. You see that 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 tooling, that midsole, outsole, and that rear piece right there in the back? Do you see that? You see that, Nick? Oh, I do. Yeah. That represents the various phases of the moon. Hmm. Ooh. Okay. Show me what you got. I'm imported <laughs> from Detroit. <laughs> I'm also uh, also got a guy from the U.S. Um, this is Curtis Hoffman. And um, he had, um, a really, he tried to go for kind of a, a hybrid, like boot-esque shoe that's also got some comfort um, qualities to it. And so it's got this rugged outsole. Um, it's got a sleek, sleek toe overlay there, but then it's also got a, a convertible foldable collar um, and then a and then a neoprene booty. So it's got and that whole toe piece he said was waterproof. So. Um, I thought he did a really good job of breaking down some of the details and, and kind of the reasonings behind the materials he picked. Um, but then it also has just a real, like, clean um, – I just think it's a real good-looking shoe for being a boot. You know, you don't you think of a rugged uh, trail boot. Maybe you don't think of something that's good-looking necessarily. But um, I thought he did a really good job here, and, and it's just a real clean shoe with some interesting material choices. So, um, Curtis, I thought did a really good job with that, and I have no problem taking it head-to-head -head with you, Sean. Yeah, let's go. Let's see what that looks like. <laughs> Curtis's design looks really fast. Yeah, real fast. Yeah, I remember commenting on this one last week. Look like the collar, the outside collar flips up. Yeah. yeah, definitely. No, that came off really nice. Real nice. Um, and I'm ac I've actually got the next guy here as well, um, and this is one of my one of my favorites too um, from today's batch. Um, and this is from guy from France, uh, Maxence Fournier. Hopefully, I got that right. <laughs> Um, and his design is is you know very molded I guess you would say so it's got the heel molding um, it's got the quarter overlay um, kind of piece that's kind of a, a clip almost looking like and it actually connects in with the uh, with the tongue piece um, and then you'll see the pencil um, it's real subtle but you'll see it kind of pop out through um, the front half overlay that that molds or that fits into the heel the heel collar piece um, and it's just got a real fast design language. Um, his video was really cool, how he was talking about the angles he was going for. Um, and I just thought this was a really sharp and, and aggressive and strong design. Yeah, I yeah. liked his video as well. He was he was one of the few people that actually drew his design live while he was mm -hmm. you know, doing it. Mm. Which, to me, that's skills. That shows skills. That was good. Hmm. All right. I see Nick is starting to get the hang of this, judges. <laughs> and, 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 he's getting the hang of this here. All right. I think I'm going to have to go somewhere that a lot of people didn't anticipate us going for the World Sneaker Championship. So I'm going to go back to the United Arab Emirates. Alyssa, you, let's do this. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Uh, wow. yeah. That's a very unique shoe. He's like, all right, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so Alyssa's design is inspired by city life and the streets around her. 
in particular taking cues from the black asphalt in the United Arab Emirates. And she also wanted to go with a nice 3D feel and a sleek overall look, as you can see articulated in the midsole there. So I think I was a fan of it being a city kid simply because the design resonated with me before even knowing exactly where the inspiration was and being a New York City kid, seeing a lot of the architecture that exists these days mm. with going up and replacing some of the older architecture, which is a different kind of show we'll talk about. But Alyssa's <laughs> 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 urban themed and street design on, uh, you know, her play on it on the midsole and on the upper really resonated with me, so that's why I went with that. Mm-hmm. It'll be a tough head to head. Yeah. <laughs> I'll like check that oh. <laughs> <laughs> This one looks like a street fight. Yeah, it does, definitely. Wow. Okay. Alyssa, you got this, yo. <laughs> Well, she got she got to pull all her friends between the uh, where she's at, United Arab Emirates and the Philippines. So, hopefully, between both of those two countries, she'll get some some good votes. I think she can do it. Yeah. All right, Stefan. Selection number nineteen. Number nineteen. Yep. Were Jermaine a massively massively heavy hitter? Probably the only Scandinavian person that you could see rocking dreadlocks. Or not dreadlocks, cornrows. <laughs> right out of Sweden, Ruben Eriksson. So this shoe is massively, massively dope. Um, he's really unapologetic with that uh, silhouette. It's unlike anything I've ever seen. Um, it's also... Not very Scandinavian. Um, he says it's simple in design. I don't know if I agree, but I think that's good. It works in his favor. So, um, Ruben, good job, man. Very nice. Me yeah, right the top, he man. still has cornrows. I don't know if he has cornrows corn rolls anymore. But. Yeah, I, I, I told him to take it. I punk his haircut every time I see him. So. <laughs> like, seriously, he really did have it, though. Yeah, for he real. Did, yeah. <laughs> He's probably the only person at school who listens to gangster rap. Yes. <laughs> it's a very proper English accent, too. Yes. <laughs> oh, man. Nice. You're making it real tough, man. Bring the A-team. Well, Uh-oh. I uh, decided on this guy from Mexico. His name's Jesus Harate. <laughs> it's a really interesting design. It has, um, it has a knitted inner booty, and that overlay, it's... I believe it's waterproof, if I'm not mistaken. And uh, in the video, he he said he was inspired uh, by rally racing, of all things. Mm. And his mm. kind of rally racing inspiration was um, how the rally racing drivers needed to adapt to different environments and situations. And he just took that idea and put it towards his design. And that's why it's so rugged and versatile. A lot of different components. Um, and that part on the tooling... Um, that accented blue uh, around the arch area, he said that was inspired by rally racing spoilers for, <laughs> for dynamics. I see it, okay. You, yeah, I really enjoy this design. Very versatile and different, and it has that zipper. I don't know if you can see it, but there's a zipper going uh, down the instep area. Very unique. Wow. Yeah, these guys, these guys actually know each other, so oh, not be friends go anymore, ahead, right. so I think there's going to be some trash talk between you two. <laughs> some friendly fire. There you go. Yeah. There's going to be some trash talk between Sweden and Mexico. Oh, All right. I, 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 love, I love Jesus, but, I mean, Ruben was my pick, so don't let me down. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's going to be a dog fight. Yep. All right, your sixth matchup, Jermaine. Where are you, where are you going with your sixth matchup? Oh, I'm a travel bug tonight. Um, going to Portugal. Whoa. Mm. Portugal. Okay. Yeah, Portugal of all places. Um, and let's see. Probably going to butcher the name, but Miguel Angelo Araujo Silva. Is what I'm yeah, you did I like, way better than I would have done. What's up? 
you did way better with that name than I would have done. So yeah. congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> hopefully I did. Yeah, hopefully I did his name justice. But yeah. I really like the cleanliness of his design. Um, he went with kind of a one-piece vamp, and I liked how the very top eyelet is connected to you know the tooling kind of. It's it's very different and unique, and he has that one piece inner booty, and I, it just really it really screamed at me. I like it, very clean and simple. Definitely something that I would wear, and maybe Nick too. <laughs> <laughs> I just needed an olive. Yeah, yeah, olive. <laughs> what you got, Stefan? All right, so I got another good one um, from India. So his name is Ajaz Rashid. So okay. this shoe is super cool. You know, it's like he, mm. he's trying to do like this runner and mix it with lifestyle. Um, it's really hard to do, and, I, you know, it's been done, but this has been done in a way that I, I've never imagined. I've never seen it. Um, he has his own lacing system that he, you know, explains in depth. Um, in his video, his, which his video also had like that really interesting production value. He actually drew lines, so I appreciated that. Like I saw stuff coming out of the pen, but um, yeah, the shoe is really fun, and I think this matchup is going to be cool too. Hello guys, my name is Ajaz, and I would like to thank everyone for choosing my work in the top 64 of World Sneaker Championship. I'm doing my fourth year product design in India, and I would like to tell you a little bit about my design. The basic inspiration was running shoes, which are currently in the market. I am very much inspired from the silhouettes and the minimum, minimal sleek approach to their design. Also keeping in mind the level of comfort. This is what I wanted to bring in my shoes, but more towards a lifestyle footwear, which, which does not look like a sports or a running shoe. I imagine majority of the shoe to have fabric based mesh materials. The upper would have different layers of thickness of fabric. The sole or the tooling is where the running shoe silhouette is coming into play. The material of course being rubber or phylon which gives maximum comfort or softness. And as far for the lacing, here is where I try to bring in a slight difference towards lifestyle by providing support from the heel counter which could be raw leather or suede. And as you can see there is a tiny little pull tab to tighten or get your shoe to snug your feet. Branding was also thought of at the upper with the same material that we would use in the Counter. I thank you all once again for choosing my work in top 64. I would like to wish all the contestants all the best. Thank you. Yeah, his video was actually pretty interesting. I like that. I liked his video as well. Yeah. It, it, it made it made made you better understand what his vision was for the product, which was which I think helped him a lot. Yeah, and I think what's cool about his video too is it keeps you captivated the whole time. You know, it's not just like his face looking at it. You know, he's talking through it. And I really appreciate that a lot. Yeah, some some people sent videos of just them talking. It's like uh, you're trying to present a design here. Yeah, <laughs> like, at least show me the shoe or something. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you see, I remember uh, even like a uh, uh, Cato's video. He had. Uh, <laughs> I was rolling watching that kid's video, dude. Yeah, that, that was, was funny. funny. <laughs> Cato's was funny. It's like popping up. Yeah, that was cool. Yeah. Good. Hey, it's the World Sneaker Championships. Next year, we can turn it into World Sneaker and Video Championships. <laughs> it's good. You, you get bonus points, you know, for making us laugh, you know. Yeah. Production value is key. Value is, but no, it was, it didn't even have production value. It was just like a video, and then he had these pop-up things, and he's just, you know, showing his personality. So, yeah. I mean, people want to see that, you know. That's that's the part that people don't don't understand. You know, your your how you storytell and how you get your ideas across. When you when you get into a corporate job, that's going to be the majority of your time doing is justifying what you created. Yep. Yep. So the better the better you could do that visually with visual tools and whether it's video or just sketching or rendering, the better opportunity you'll have to get that that design moved forward to the next level. Yep. Yep. All right. Now we're up to pick number 23. 23 already? Yep. Yep. It's going by fast. Oh, no. I, I'm, I'm, a little, I'm a little torn on this one right here. On one hand, I have in this matchup some, some personal feelings. And then at the other side of the matchup, I got more personal feelings because I'm proud of you know, the advancement here. All right. Looks like I'm going back 
to the U.S. of A. after my trip abroad. <laughs> Dominic Dina. Okay. So, mm. the thing about Dominic's design that is really slick, you know, the Aria Prime booty, rugged phylon boot sole, but the dope thing about this is the leather panels that actually expand where you can see the underside of the upper when your feet go in and the leather expands. Wow. Mm. Take that, evildoers. <laughs> <laughs> Simple, yet complex, yet simple again. Way to go, Dominic. Nice. Now that's a that's a great design, and, and I met Dominic as well. He's a great kid, so that's cool to see um, just the evolution over the years for him. Um, for my pick, another guy that I know really well is uh, Austin Jamaicans from the U.S. as well. Oh. Ooh. After this, I'm going to I'm gonna have to send Austin a nasty text because he didn't actually submit a video, so I have no idea what his inspiration was. <laughs> but it is a really clean design, so I'm sure that's what he was going for. And so you can kind of see the mixed materials, um, what looks to be a nice, either a suede or a nubuck um, through the toe, but then he also has this piece that's come from the midfoot, um, and that's what you lace through, which is kind of unique for that kind of a style of shoe. Um, and then the collar and quarter looks to be a little bit more uh, mesh based. And so I thought, you know, it's a real clean shoe, um, real simple, but also some kind of unique touches to it um, and unique construction elements that, that kind of make it stand out. So I thought Austin did a really nice job with this one. And it's an interesting matchup with him and him and Dominic going head to head, some two guys that we know really well, of course. Yeah, yeah. let's do the head to head matchup. This is going to be a low top, mid top uh, matchup conversation. Wow. Yeah. Yep. That's a good one. I, I can't. I can't brag about this one. I just got to see what happens on this one. <laughs> That's a good one. Let him fight it out. Yeah. Exactly. It would have helped if you sent a video, Austin. If you're watching, man. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So I. It's so funny. I was actually uh, messaging with Austin. So um, he's he's definitely gonna get to to work on his video. So. <laughs> I only sent like yeah. three emails out three to emails. Him. The video. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. you, know, you were like you were like a parent calling in for like the six son. Yeah, exactly. Just... I was like, listen, you got to step your game up. I mean, yeah, what? Dude. you know. Listen, wow. Linda. Listen, Linda. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta send your video, Linda. Right. Um, listen to me. Listen to me. Yeah, exactly. Oh. Man. Oh. All right, Nick, you up number pick 25. Yeah, I'm right up again, and, and um, this time we're going to Canada. I've got Randy Bluegross Bartap. This, I, I nice. love this shoe. This shoe is, A, it's all me. I would wear this thing every day. Um, and, B, I just, thought, I just thought he did a really nice job kind of mixing in some familiar elements, and it's real wearable, but also it has its own touch to it. So... Mm. Kind of see that um, that midfoot you know panel that you lace through, um, which is kind of unique and has some, had a little cork there with the with the uh, V cut, and then uh, real clean toe, um, and then the uh, the kind of sock esque um, sleeve sleeve tongue is uh, just looks real comfortable, real nice. So I thought uh, he did a real nice job with this. Um, Randy's video is also one of those ones that we kind of joked about because he kind of comes in with this angle from his kitchen that looks like it's like from a dating website video. Uh, <laughs> Which we've seen a lot of. <laughs> definitely check that out if you can. Because like I wasn't, like it kept cutting back to him. I wasn't ready for it. It was just like, he was kind of like, I had this smile. Uh, it looked like straight off a dating website. But um, but I thought the design itself was really strong and uh, Randy did a great job with that. And um, just had a real nice clean design that's uh, just really well done. So great job, Randy. And um, I'm curious what you got next for me, uh, Sean. Nice. Well, well, first, hold on, wait. First of all, that means you've been watching dating website videos. <laughs> <laughs> Let's not skip over that. Oh, you just so drop that. No, no, I was, I was watching a, a series on Mad TV called Lowered Expectations. I was joking with a friend, and that's what I'm referencing in this discussion. Uh, I'm not, oh, mm, okay. He was also taking notes the whole time. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> I remember lowered expectation. Those were exactly. Fun. So not not to offend Randy because I'm not saying it was you know from that, but you know that's kind of the feel like. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh. All, right. All right, Sean, what you got? 
I'm up. I'm up. Hey, Nick, I got a question for you. I have two questions for you, actually. Okay. Do you like Leatherman jackets? No. Well, you will. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Do you like gum soles on your shoes? You know what? I used to never like gum soles, and I still don't like wearing them myself, but I appreciate them if they're done well. So there's a couple shoes that just hit this last year that I was like, all right, that's the... That's the solid shoe and a good execution of the gum sole. So I'm, I'm warming up to it. Nice. Well, you just gave me my pick. I'm going with okay. Trey Williams from the USA. Let's go, baby. Nice. Influenced, of course, by the ever-traditional Letterman jacket and a play on the gum sole with a nice, clean, sleek design with a... Very high inner booty. I'm I'm messing with this one all day. Mm. With Trey on this one. No relation, but I'm with this one. <laughs> nice. That's a lot of gum too. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Let's see. Let's see what Trey and Randy look like together. <clears throat> Actually, both are very bold. That's very. Cool. Yeah. Very bold statements. Strong bold. lines. Yeah. yeah. Nice. Okay. <laughs> yeah. All right, pick 27. Stefan, you're up, man. Um, number 27. All right. Um, so I'm going to introduce this guy as he would introduce himself. Um, it's always in a sentence. Probably going to butcher it still. Uh, but his name is Quetzal Ramos. Um, so that's, that's his full name. You can always call him Q. Um, <laughs> I, I'm loving this shoe. Um, this is a video that you should check out. Uh, Q, you still need to work on your English, man. Like three years deep, you still sound the same. But uh, I'm still my boy. But anyways, like I think of maybe all the contestants, uh, Q understands how his shoe works the best. He made a model. Yeah, of the yeah. Shoe. yeah. So you know that every line that he's drawn is is related to that. Um, yeah. I mean, he's encouraging people to check it out online. So I mean, I think maybe that's a, a subtle jab at the competitors. But I mean, he made his shoe, so. Yeah, he did. That was impressive. That was impressive. And yeah. he's like his hair is like super long now. It's like he's yeah, growing he's, he's or doing this and like all that or whatever. Yeah. In the video, but yeah, that's cool. Cool. Yes, I was no joke. Yep. All he's, right, what you gonna bring? What you gonna battle cues with, Jermaine? I'm still kind of deciding, but Stefan, while I'm deciding, can you say his first name again? <laughs> his name is Keto <laughs> Ramos, but you can call him Q. Oh, <laughs> I can't begin to start saying that. Oh, I think I made my pick. I'm gonna go. Uh, I'm gonna go to Germany this time. Mm. Uh, this guy, his name is uh, Marco Walroth. I really liked how clean his overall design was. Um, very lifestyle oriented, and he he was going for a really comfortable boat shoe. And in his video, it really opened my eyes because he said that uh, sustainability was his main focus, and he wanted to use his platform to showcase to the world that sustainability should be a force to be reckoned with in the footwear industry. And um, with that, he said that his main goal for this shoe was having every single piece stitched together, including the upper to the tooling. He wanted everything stitched, and well, that was the main priority. So that really spoke to me, and... Um, I just like the overall design. Everything flowed well together. So nice. done. Let's see what Germany and Mexico look like together. Mm. That's that's interesting. They kind of got like that same idea, that booty with like that leather, but yeah. it's two completely different executions. That's really interesting. Yeah. It's it a is. Very nice international matchup right here. Yep. Also, a good football match. Yeah, very yeah. good football match. Very yeah. good. Nice. All right, you still up, Jermaine? Pick number 29. All right. Eighth and final matchup for you. My final pick. This is going to be tough. I'm going to go to France. Okay. This guy's name is Simon Leclerc. <laughs> and uh, in his video, he explained how he wanted to use really premium materials and he wanted to emphasize and focus on craftsmanship. And I like the lines. It's very aggressive, um, very sportswear-esque, and I, I like it a lot. Uh, very unique 
unique pieces. Um, one of the materials that really jumped out at me, and he, he spoke he spoke on behalf of this, but he wanted to use and emphasize cork material, and you can see it across the midsole. And I really enjoyed how he used this design, where it kind of it's a wrap that goes from the lateral side to the medial side and back to the lateral side. And it's a very unique look, and I like it. That's my pick. Very good. Nice. I like it. Y'all are making it really hard for for the for the you know not only the contestants but all the people who are gonna vote. Yeah. Y'all are really pitting some uh, some some very powerful, well executed designs up against each other. I'm loving it. Our judges this week have gotten the hang of this. Yeah, yeah. man. Very quickly. Very quickly. All right, man. So all right. Your, your last pick. My very last pick. So last week, if you guys tuned in, I said I really, really, really wanted this guy in my pool, and I got him this week. All the way from the PI, Archie Tolentino. So before I say anything about your shoe, I mean, you know what's good. You didn't submit a video. You can draw your ass off. Like, do a flip book or something. That would have also been tight. I know you could have done that. Don't tell me you don't got photo or whatever editing skills. Anyways, um, Archie's shoe uh, is rad. It's got a little bit of that throwback, like basketball vibe, um, a little bit of that lifestyle. Uh, so I don't really else know what's happening with the materials, but I think he was confident enough to know that he didn't have to make a video, which I also appreciate, too. So. <laughs> Just throwing this out there, Archie's got my same last name. No relation. But oh, wow. Okay. Voting wow. From the Great design. Like yeah. new votes. <laughs> Making it tough, man. That's a great design. Yeah. That is. Nice. Right, so let's see the head to head between those two. Okay. Mm hmm. Archie, next time we want to see you in a video with your co stars. Yes. Oh. <laughs> the whole national Filipino basketball team would be good, too. Right. Uh, and a flip book. <laughs> Something, exactly. <laughs> and some chickens. Right. <laughs> uh, very cool. All right. That's a tough matchup. Sean, last pick. Last pick. This has to end already. Last pick. We got uh, we got NCAA tournaments going. I mean, I'm sure that people, well, at least people on the West Coast are still up. East Coast people are probably not interested in the University of Oregon. Who Oregon played tonight anyway? I don't even know. No. <laughs> Who? St. Joe's. There, there's nobody. They just got lucky. Uh oh! Did you did you just curse that one? Oh! No, no, no. <laughs> oh. Just, I oh. have a chance to win my bracket finally this year. So the only, one of the very few things I like about Oregon is a basketball team and a football team. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> so watching, oh, okay. Wow. I'm just gonna get to my last pick before Stefan gets in more trouble. Right. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I get kicked off the mailing list probably after that. Yep. <laughs> Uh, well, hopefully this will your name right. So yeah, my last selection, my last selection, was designed with simplicity and ease of use in mind. Mm -hmm. And the ultimate goal is for it to be the most comfortable and capable shoe on the market. Bold. That said, my designer is from the U.S., Mr. Jared Volkov. How about that? Mm. The functionality, the aggressive design. Look at the lace play and the pull tab. Come on, Nick. Do it. <laughs> <laughs> He's taunting uh, now. Wow. Well, my, my guy is also from the U.S., and uh, that is Austin Scott. <laughs> and uh, Austin actually had one of my favorite videos because he did such a really good and concise job of breaking down why he designed it, how he designed it. So he designed a shoe that is, for somebody that's, you know, transitioning from kind of college to the work life um, and maybe needs to be business casual at times. So you'll see kind of the perf pattern on the toe. Um, mm -hmm. And the shoe is meant to be worn with, with maybe some dress pants in it so it hides the, hides the collar there um, and it hides the more kind of bold color in the heel. Um, but then if you want to wear it casually outside of work, um, then you kind of get the more, he described it, you know, athletic mesh collar, um, you kind of see the more color aggressive pops, um, and so then you kind of get um, more life to it outside of the workplace. But um, I thought his video was great. He did a really good job of breaking everything down. Um, and then on top of that, the shoe kind of did exactly what he was going for, and it has a real clean, classic look. 
um, for kind of a dress casual type of feel, but um, also could be worn outside of that um, and came along well. So if, if you can, check out his video for sure. Um, Austin Scott, I thought he did a really nice job with it, and um, that's the very last pick of the bracket today, but um, I thought it was just a, a great way to, to end off on for sure. You see that head-to-head -head last matchup. <laughs> Aggression. Mm -hmm. versus Aggression versus the future. Yeah, that's a nice toe. That's a nice toe detail for Austin. I like that. Sure. Yeah, actually, it actually, the tongue actually goes under a little bit, so it's got a little bit of an overhang, um, and then it's got this whole um, perf toe cap, so it's it's a real nice uh, execution on it, and um, and the video explained it really well. I thought it was great. That's good. All right, that's the that's the top 32. It's getting, um, it's getting more serious now. Uh, wow. Yeah, it's getting it's getting more serious now. Again, you guys gotta get your votes on, get your friends up. You know, hopefully, hopefully you're not like me, and I don't I don't do social media, so hopefully you don't <laughs> got social media. <laughs> so you've got some friends. Um, but uh, you know, we we got here today because of your votes. So you were you were encouraging all your friends and family and people maybe you don't know to encourage you to vote uh, or encourage them to vote for you. So. Get back, get back out there, and, and then drive them to uh, WorldSneakerChampionship.com so they can they can vote for you. So we can meet up again next week, and so we can go through who the selections are. But we need we need or you need their votes to advance. Mm -hmm. uh, but that was that was a good that was a good 32. That yeah. was gonna be tough. It's it's a tough season. competition. That's gonna be real tough. Um, any last words? I know people got to get back to their bracket, even though everybody's bracket. <laughs> sure everybody's bracket is busted. Well, well, DB, before we do that, I wanted to ask ask you this question. Yeah. What do you tell? What words of advice, other than voting and getting out to you know, to vote, would you encourage this now round of 32? What would you encourage them to do um, as they're getting people to vote? Right. To prepare for that next round. So, you know, just in the event that they do make it to the next round, what should they begin to do? Um, well, you know, honestly, the, the first thing is I, I will say something that my, my first boss um, told me uh, when I first started working in the industry, because <clears throat> he's an extremely hardworking guy. Um, and the first thing he told me when I did something right was he said, take five minutes off to congratulate yourself and get back to work. <laughs> so... I would say <laughs> that's okay. the first thing is, actually, you know what? You should be proud that you made it to this point. That's the first thing. Um, and, you know, take, take pride into the fact that, you know, of, of all the people that entered, that you're now, you're now one of the 32 in, in this tournament. So you should be happy about that first and foremost. The, the next part of it is, you know, if, if your video lacks or if you don't have a video, put one together. And, mm. and send it, send it to us, and as well as post it up online so people can see and better understand the design that you've you've kind of executed. Um, but you you're at the point now where it's not just about a vote thing. You're also trying to make sure people understand what you were trying to do with your design itself. Mm -hmm. So up right. up your up your your communication skills. And at this point, it's only video. So not only video, but it's video. Mm -hmm. um, so I, I would say go back in and, and, and redo videos or or a do a video, um, mm -hmm. Archie, um, or a flipbook, Archie. <laughs> um, awesome. but, uh, Stop, yeah. But I, I would say go back in and, and work on your visual communication skills, so you mm -hmm. can help people better understand what you're trying to do, and maybe that'll help encourage somebody, you know, to vote for you. But honestly, man, to me, if I was one of these kids, I'd be excited to be even mentioned on this broadcast that we're having right now because a lot of people are not mentioned on this broadcast. And the, the 32 that wasn't mentioned on this broadcast, that doesn't mean, you know, you're not as good as these 32. Um, like I said, it could have been your communication skills. It could have been your social media skills. It, it, could, have, it could have been different things. Um, so it's just, it's just a matter of, you know, you understanding kind of, you know, how to network. And you know how to you know kind of use those tools to your advantage. You know what we did differently this week is you know we 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 basically tallied all the votes up and we reorganized the bracket so we can make it more interesting. Where we we really played off of the votes that we received 
and re we reorganize the bracket. So you may see people that was in Region 1 combined with somebody in Region 2 from last oh, week, but we, but we okay. really wanted to we really wanted to let the consumer speak to us and really kind of dictate how things go. Um, and instead of us just sticking to the to the traditional route, we want to really make it more consumer engagement oriented. And I think that created better matchups as you saw this week. Um, and hopefully it creates a better engagement as we move forward because we, we we're listening to the consumers. Yep, yep. But, okay. I, but you know that's a long answer, D. But you know I just I just want people to uh, to be proud of the fact that they're at this point. Absolutely. Okay. And don't be like me and have a social media presence and do all the other stuff that y'all young people do. Don't be Kaiser so say. <laughs> yep. Tweet, Instagram, Facebook. Uh, you know, put it all out there. I encourage everyone to to certainly, you know, it, th now's one of the times to not be shy. Correct. The least possible. Time. Be bold. You know, put yourself out there, but put, you know, particularly tell that story about your your design, what it, you know, where the inspiration came from, materials, um, who you know the consumer is as well. Right. Who do you see? Who do you envision wearing your product? Tell that story. Let us know, uh, and that's certainly going to get people out there to vote as well. So, right. Yes, absolutely. Cool. So, any any last words, fellas? So, Sean, you got any last words? I always have last words. <laughs> <laughs> to the 32 who did not make it, please do not give up on your desire and your passion that pushed you to make it to the final 64 out of the 4,700 plus submissions that were received in the beginning. Um, because you did not make it, also. That does not mean that you shouldn't support some of the other designers that made it. If you really yeah, see the you believe in. Um, I don't think you should disengage from the experience just because you didn't advance. I think you should still stay involved and encourage those who did advance, as well as be able to watch the experience and keep yourself sharp for when you get the next opportunity, be it the next World Sneaker Championships or be it a real opportunity to land a spot working for someone or whatever opportunities present themselves from your presence here in this World Sneaker Championship. Absolutely. And, you know, one of the things that we never did is we never gave up on the concept of the World Sneaker Championship becoming real, in particular Dwayne's nose to the grind on making sure that it really happened. So you shouldn't give up on your dreams just because you didn't make it to the pinnacle of this experience. So your involvement still makes this more of an experience that is worth being a part of for everybody, whether you advanced or not. Stay sharp, pay attention to the pluses and the negatives of the entire thing. Even the folks who advanced, they still have a lot of work to do, but they were managed to, based on the criteria to advance, were able to advance. So Archie, please make sure you do what you can to move things up to another level, and um, we'll see where the final 16 chips fall. And um, this is really a big opportunity not only for you guys who are designing, but it's also a great experience for us to be a part of it because as people who have been in the sneakers for God knows how many years between all of us on here, and I won't even put the number behind it because it's definitely triple digits years at least. Yeah, it's triple digits for sure. And I don't wanna I don't wanna lose sight of the fact that for you designers that we're not engaged and excited for what you guys are presenting because we actually are as consumers as well. Nice. Nice. How about you, Nick? Well obviously Sean carried off uh, pretty well there and, and tackled everything that in terms of the the contestants, but just from my standpoint, just seeing sketches the last 10 years, it's just amazing how how well skilled everybody is, and a lot of that's a credit to, to Dwayne and, and just the movement that Pencil has become, but it's just so cool to see just around the world um, all these entries come in and and just how much more, um, you know, skilled and, and uh, kind of insightful people are about, you know, in the past, I guess it was more about just drawing a pretty picture and maybe something that couldn't even be manufactured, but now you have people that are really getting a 360 view of, of how to really draw a shoe and, and something that could really come to life. And so that's the excitement part or exciting part about 
um, being involved in this, and I'm excited to see where it goes from here and, and who continues to advance. Nice. Yep. Thank you. Appreciate you coming out. Jermaine, any last thoughts? And this pool is crazy, crazy talented. And to those who didn't advance, it's definitely not the end of the road. Um, I've, I really enjoy seeing, uh, looking at old designs of some of my personal favorite shoes and looking at this talent pool. It's crazy to see the evolution. Um, technology plays a big factor. Utilize all of your resources. And it's definitely not the end of the road if you didn't go forward and advance. It's just a roadblock and a speed bump. And you've got to find a way to either drive over it or drive around it. So, right. yeah, keep it coming. You guys are all talented. Nice. Yep. Stefan, closing it out for us. Yeah, so um, kind of like the rest of the illustrious committee has said, um, to the 32 who didn't make it and to, you know, the thousands of kids who applied, if you didn't get in, you know, pencil's not going anywhere. Um, if anything, it should make you more hungry to try to do better. Um, I, me I mentioned last week I didn't get into pencil you know, the first couple of times I tried to get in. Um, and that just made me want to better myself. You know, I went online, I saw what people who got in, what they did, and I tried to, like, make my body of work better. Um, how can you tell stories? That's also super, super important as well. So, um, yeah, don't don't get down. I'm, I'm kind of bummed, actually, <laughs> just thinking about, like, there were some really good shoes that didn't get in. But uh, you just, you just got to keep at it, you know, and, and you can do it if you want it that bad. Sure, indeed. Well, Well, the big thing is, you know, everything's been said. We've encouraged everyone to to vote, to to step their game up. You know, don't be afraid to be bold, like I said before, and and really enjoy this process. And and it's true. I, I definitely say, you know, enjoy it, congratulate yourself, and then think, okay, what else can I do to get that, uh, you know, to get further tell that story, so that people can really get a feel from what's coming from truly. You know that sketch, that design, that soul that you've uh, put out there. So have fun with it. Um, it. This is an amazing competition that um, truly, you know, the 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 limits are, are boundless. You know, they're they're limitless, and I say that on purpose. So have fun with it. Step your game up. Put yourself out there. You are, you know, people are gonna also see you. So you as the designers. Don't be afraid to put yourself out there, and I implore you to, and, and have fun with it again. So, um, you know, World Sneaker Championship 2016, you know, the top 32. Yes, get to voting, worldsneakerchampionship.com, right as the show ends tonight. You know what? You can sleep when you're dead. That's right. <laughs> That's true. You know, you can sleep when you're dead, so just get out there, vote. Go do it now. No half-stepping at all. So um, anything else that we need to put out there, D, for social media or anything else, worldsneakerchampionship.com. It's already out there. People see it on the screen. Yep. Uh, that's about it, right? Yeah. No, last so. let's, uh, let's end it. You know, I want to thank, again, thank Foot Locker, Soul Collector. Uh, I want to thank you guys, you know, our, our guest selectors this week. I appreciate you giving up some of your Sunday night for us. Um, also behind the scenes with Chai and Herbert, you know, all their hard work you guys don't see. Uh, much appreciated to them, again, giving up their Sunday night. And I think that's it, man. I think it's, man. it's time for us to call it a wrap, and then we'll see you next Sunday. Same time. Same time. Right. So there's no more to say. We kind of be up, out. Make sure you go vote. Until then, as we say, keep your laces tight, like, tightly, your tongue loose, walk good, and always get out and vote. <laughs>